Now, when you're applying eyeshadow, I suggest putting your head up a little bit and looking down rather than stretching the lid. So I feel like you can avoid kind of creasing that way as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, which is all about makeup and everything beauty. Now today I'm going to show you how to do a really simple and easy eyeshadow look. Now it's simple and it's easy to do, but there's something different about it. It's not like your standard usual eyeshadow look. And that's what I love about it because it's so quick to do. And if you don't have time, this is perfect for you. And you've probably got the products at home already or very similar products. So before we head into the video, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so that you never miss a video. You can also catch me on Instagram where you can follow my stories for daily beauty news or PR unboxing. Let's jump straight into the video. So I have nothing on my eyes other than my foundation concealer, which is set with powder and just everything else on. So I'm gonna go in with my first product, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. And I'm using the shade Medium. So I'm going in with my 200 brush from Fenty. And all I'm gonna do is just take this over my lid. And you know what? I feel like you're always kind of searching for the right shade, which is that nudish kind of matte color for the lids where people don't realize you can actually use face powders that you have because they're perfect because you've already made sure that you've bought the one that kind of complements your skin tone. So you can use that like that. I love this. I just love that kind of like nude color on the lids. When I say nude, I mean like, how can I put it? A lighter version of my skin tone, not pink. Some people bring out like, they say it's nude, but it's like pink. It's fine if you have a pink undertone, but not for someone like me. So all I'm doing is just packing this onto the lid. You can see I'm pressing it on all over. There we go. Now I'm gonna go in with a darker shade. I'm using the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. I'm using the shade Suntan. I'm just gonna take some of that off on the back of my hand. I don't want too much product going on. This is a 231 brush from uh, Zoeva, by the way. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in to this area here, and just the qu last quarter of the eye. I'm kind of like going in a circle. There you go. But what you wanna make sure is don't go too far in. Keep it here. Do the same on the other side. I haven't finished blending by the way. I'm literally just getting the placement right. And don't take it too far out because we're going to do that in a minute. I'm taking the excess off on the back of my hand. Okay. Now can you see I'm slowly taking this out. Don't take it out too much because once you put your lashes on you can actually drag it out a little bit further. You can see whether you want to take it out any, anymore. Now don't go too far in, we're gonna go just a little bit so that it doesn't look so desk Seriously, I can never speak, what is wrong with me? The number of videos you guys must have seen of me just not being able to pronounce things or just, just generally not being able to speak English. So, I feel like that is done and I'm kinda happy with that. Doesn't go out too much and I'm gonna do the same here. Okay, so now I'm gonna be a bit more specific. So I'm gonna go right in here, because I don't wanna blend anything else now because I feel like it's all blended. What I do want is I want there to be that, a little bit more depth just on this area here. I'm keeping my movements super small. Now when you're applying eyeshadow, I suggest putting your head up a little bit and looking down rather than stretching the lid. So I feel like you can avoid kind of creasing that way as well. Now I'm gonna go in with a slightly smaller brush. I'm, doing, I'm using the 230 Zoeva brush. Same product, so same eyeshadow. I'm gonna go a tiny bit from here. I don't go right into the inner corner. I'm starting from the inner lash line, just above it. I'm not gonna go on the inner corner, just above the start of the upper lash line. Really, really tiny amount. 
smallest amount, not too much. And I'm just kind of like almost applying it there and then dragging it out. I think that's enough. See how like tiny that is, that amount? Okay, I love how this is looking. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in with my Charlotte Tilbury powder and I'm just gonna apply it in the areas that I don't have. So that little area that where I don't actually have any eyeshadow. I'm just pressing it there, I'm not blending anything yet. There, that's gonna help to open my eye. I'm taking over my eye area. I'm gonna take off the excess off the brush and then very lightly I'm gonna go all the way in. Just dragging it over there I really like that honestly it's super easy this look so I think what I'm gonna do is go in with a little bit of eyeliner I'm gonna go in with my Tom Ford liquid pen liner which is absolutely amazing probably one of the best ones out there it's the eye defining pen all I'm doing is going super super close to my lash line that's it literally just that first quarter That is it, and then I'm gonna go in with my mascara. Let's just curl the lashes because they're super straight. I'm using my Kevin Oakwa Lash Curler. Does anyone, do you guys know how to use this? Let me show you how to use this. Super easy, not really as scary as it looks. See how that's just lifted all my lashes? So what I'm going in, I'm going in with this, open. I basically look straight ahead, place that top section against my skin, but a little bit a little bit away from my skin, not too close because I don't want to pinch the skin. And then I press. So keep it not pressed fully against your skin. Pumping action, and they're curled. I'll go in with the Hourglass Unlocked Mascara and I'm just gonna coat my lashes. So I'm going from underneath. You could just keep just like, just use mascara to be fair. I'm using my lashes in Nina. Just letting the glue dry. Applied a very thin amount onto the strip. Okay, let's go all in. I'm gonna apply it on to the middle. Let that sit. It's just sitting on the lash line. I'll do the same on the other eye. There, it's just kind of sitting there. Now I'm gonna stick down the outer and the inner corner. Okay, lashes are done. And now I'm gonna go back in with that um, suntan shade from the Natasha Denona palette. And I'm literally gonna put it on the um, 230 brush and I've taken all the excess off on the back of my hand. So I've rubbed it all off. So there's only a little bit on here. And then I'm gonna go into my lash line here. Just on the ends, not all the way across. That's it, I don't wanna go all the way in. Lastly, I'm going to go into my lower lashes with a tiny bit of mascara, the same one. Like, I don't want them looking spidery. Now, obviously, I want to keep that section on my lid kind of matte, but what I do want is to just apply the tiniest amount of glitter or shimmer, whatever you want to call it, and I'm going to apply it to my lower part here, my inner corner there. So I'm going to use the shade Silk and I'm literally I'm using which brush is this? This is the L04 brush from Sigma. I'm literally just applying it here so it gives me a little bit of pop of or just a pop. Yeah, I like that. And that is the finished look. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and as you've seen, it's really simple and easy to follow and I really hope that I've given you an extra look that you can do when you don't have time, which looks different. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments box below. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss a video. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.